Look at this damn thing. I hate this truck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I do love it, but I also really hate this truck at the same time. I had a buddy lay under my truck uh, the other day and look at it while I was going forward and backwards. I guess that he said the brand new U-joints on that drive shaft I just put in like two months ago are already smoked. Probably from me trying to do burnouts with the wheel hop. Um, they just prematurely went. Typically O'Reilly's just has them on hand. And I tried to call this morning just to double check to see if they had them, but they didn't answer. So I was like, whatever, they probably have them. Drove all the way into town, they don't have them. So I'm gonna try Napa. Napa did indeed have them. First thing to do is pull the drive shaft out, which is a lot easier since it's a one piece now. Don't really seem terrible. They seem fairly healthy, but I don't know. I heard one squeaking like a month ago as well anyways. So just the smallest amount of play. Oh, this one's actually kind of stiff. Maybe this is a problem, child. Either way, we'll replace them both. One of the best parts about working on stuff that isn't rusty, dude. Look at this. Time to pull the clip out. <laughs> no hammering, no heating, no chiseling, nothing. Just comes out just like that. Drive shaft's back in. Time to pull off the track bars and reset them and go for a test drive. I don't know if you guys remember from the last video, but the bolt on this side like won't come out. So I wasn't even gonna try to take that off because it will not come out. So I just took the old bracket off so I can spin it. And then that side's been frozen. So I've been putting PB Blaster on that. Hopefully that breaks free. This is absolutely retarded. I pulled it off the truck because it wouldn't move. I brought it in and it's bending every bar. I'm trying to put a bar on that side and twist it from over there. That's not working. Um, and I'm actually pulling the vise out of the table trying to do this <laughs> straight up remove the bushings so that i could stick something larger in here because i couldn't really get anything big enough um so now i'm going to heat the ever-living hell out of it and try to pry on it again that was insane but it's off now use a crap ton of anti-seas <laughs> Things should be pretty happy now. Well, that was a uh, quite a chore. Um, basically, they're both stuck. This one wasn't stuck like three weeks ago, and then suddenly it was stuck. It wasn't as bad as the other one, but I had to take it completely off, bring it into the garage. Um, but now we got new U joints, and we reset the preload on the track bar. quickly because obviously if they're right on the edge of traction that's where they're gonna like bite and then slip and then bite and then slip like i understand that um but another part of me is like now something else still has to be wrong because even in the dirt it wheel hops if i don't like get on it hard enough and that's that's not right dude so i popped the head gasket So yeah, the, uh, the head gasket blew up on my truck. Um, I can't believe it at the moment. I can't believe it's not real butter. It's pretty wild to me. Um, and it's got 400,000 miles on it with stock head gaskets, stock head bolts, and it's been pushing 40 pounds of boost for 20 years. So put so much money into this truck. Ironically, I've put it up for sale a couple times just because I can't believe how much money I've put into it. I've put about 18 grand into this truck in parts now. And I can't believe I just popped the head gasket. 
Well, it makes sense. I uh, smelled coolant like a week ago or something driving it, and it kind of went away, but whatever spot was leaking a little bit of coolant completely blew out, and now it's leaking oil and coolant. I officially got rid of the Cummins. Um, I got something else in its place that is completely different, but I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. You might be able to hear it in the background. It's basically a 5.3 Silverado with a small cam in it, um, dual exhaust, four wheel drive, single cab short bed with the step side bed. It's a little rough around the edges. Front and rear bumpers should be replaced. It would look nice with front and rear bumpers. Um, rockers are getting a little crispy. Um, but other than that, it's really not in horrible shape. Frame's solid. Rear tires are currently bald. I literally did a burnout on the test run with the guy. I know they did a bunch of burnouts with it, but that's what I want to do with it, so I wasn't too worried. Um, trans was just rebuilt with a shift kit in it. So, thing is, pretty sweet, needs some love. Absolutely destroys tires, though. I'm gonna give you guys a full walk around because the biggest thing that I do when I get a vehicle is I kind of briefly show you and uh, and then I clean it up, make it look nice, I do all this stuff and there's never any actual solid videos um, of me walking around basically and showing the truck. So I'm gonna show you guys everything so you can see it, all the imperfections, everything. So rear bumper's junk. Uh, tailgate's a little crispy, but you could sand that down. Need a cover, um, give me some signs with it. Step side bed. Like I said, bumper is junk. It's got the duels. Tires are spanked because it is a burnout truck. Um, 1500. Four wheel drive. 179,000 miles. The typical GM gauge crap where the fuel pump don't seem to work half the time. Um, it did work a little bit. It's off and on, I guess, intermittent. So I might throw a um, fuel pump in it or something, but four-wheel drive, 5.3. I've got all the paperwork um, for the cam and the transmission and everything. Let me show everything. Trying to not rush here. Here's the fenders getting pretty crispy. Front bumper is also just done. This side, the bed did get uh, did get damaged. I'm assuming because the tire popped or something from them doing burnouts. Um, but I might just put a regular bed on it. I don't know yet, but that is definitely missing a chunk right there. But not drastically concerned about that. truck um definitely needs some work but imagine this thing like all right foot racing out this thing could be pretty sweet and i think it's going to be pretty sweet so yeah cummins with head gasket issue is gone silverado that is ready to drive just not perfectly pretty in place the engine is actually still under a warranty as well. I've got the paperwork for it. It was done like 20,000 miles ago or something. Um, so it's technically actually still under warranty. So somehow I blow the motor up. They will rebuild another one, but I really don't think I'm gonna because it's a 5.3 and they never blow up anyways. 